In 2021, the IRS issued over 175 million stimulus payments. These are the third round of economic impact payments that totaled about $400 billion. As we get close to tax time, the IRS is reminding people how to handle those stimulus checks when reconciling their taxes for 2021. And they tell us that most people received the full amount of the stimulus payments that they were entitled to and therefore do not need to take action on their federal tax return. There are some people, however, that either did not get a third round stimulus check when they were entitled to one or got less than they were supposed to. And there are different scenarios for if you fall into one of those categories. In either case, you may be able to claim the balance or the full amount of the stimulus check as a recovery rebate credit on your 2021 tax return. Now, if you receive less than you thought you were entitled to, the IRS tells us one of the most important steps is to find out how much you did receive. The exact dollar amount will be important. The balance of the stimulus payment then will be the recovery rebate credit. If you did not get a third round stimulus payment and you thought you were entitled to one, you should contact the IRS and they give us some instructions and we link to those in the description below. One of the steps they may take is a payment trace. They might have tried to send it to you and it didn't get to you. There are steps to take to try to reconcile that situation as well. Now also, if you are eligible for that third round stimulus payment, you would be claiming that, like we said, as a recovery rebate credit. The words are a little different than the way they appeared when it was a payment in check form coming through the mail. We give instructions in the description below of how to file for a recovery rebate credit and other tips that might be helpful as we get closer to the tax deadline of April 18th, 2022 to file your 2021 taxes.